change degrees to revolutions or revolutions back to degrees, you have two choices. You have one choice, well, your first choice is to decide if you are going to multiply by 360 degrees or if you are going to divide by 360 degrees. First of all, a revolution is a trip around a circle and there's 360 degrees in a circle. So if, for example, you know that you are at 90 degrees and you need to know how many revolutions that is, well, 90 degrees is one quarter of a circle. So all you need to really do is take the 90 degrees, divide it by 360, and that gives you one fourth. So 90 degrees is the same thing as one fourth of a revolution. What if you are at 120 degrees and you need to change that to a revolution? Well, 120 degrees is one third of a way around a circle. If you didn't know that though, you just take 120, you divide it by 360, giving you one third of a revolution. You could also work backwards. Let's say for example, that you have rotated two and a half revolutions and you need to know you need to know how many degrees that is. Well, you're going to work backwards. Rather than dividing by 360 degrees, you are going to multiply by 360 degrees. So you take the two and a half and you multiply that by 360. Two and a half times 360 well, 2 times 360 is 720. 720 then plus a half of a revolution around a circle is 180. So 2 and a half times 360 is the same thing as 900 degrees. You can simply take 2.5 times 360, giving you 900 degrees. Similarly, you could take, for example, um, Let's say that you have rotated three quarters, 0.75 of a revolution. Well, 0.75 of a revolution is not quite one trip around a circle. To figure out how many degrees that is, you simply take 0.75 and you multiply that by 360 degrees, which will give you 270 degrees.